You've created quite a mess. The media is looking at this from the historical conspiracy perspective, saying that this was an operation cooked up by the government or some military faction to conceal military secrets from 20 years ago. But the public is used to having information concealed from them, so while they may feign righteous indignation right now, they'll forget about it as their daily lives offer more pressing concerns. That doesn't sound like something that the chief of the Public Security General Affairs section would say. You're responsible for the handling of more top-secret information than anyone else. Anyway, why are you here? Are you here in your other role as chief of the JSDA watch? According to our operatives, there are indications that the ringleader has had connections with Russia ever since his days in the military. We kept him under surveillance even after his discharge, but just the other day he killed two of my men while trying to escape. However, I don't believe that he was the one who killed them. So what are you telling me? That some third party who was using him killed your lookouts in order to set him free? But unfortunately he died before we were able to confirm that, thanks to your people. Mr. Aramaki, I realize that your Section 9 is an independent agency that answers directly to the Prime Minister. It is an offensive anti-crime organization that has the power and capability to intervene in any crime. But yours isn't the only public security outfit. This isn't some war zone. When you stop at nothing to meet your objectives, it causes a serious backlash for all public security personnel, myself included. I ask that you bear that in mind. This is a warning from the public security's head of general affairs. Who's that? You used to work at Police HQ and you don't know? That's the great Chiki Kanbe, public security head of general affairs. He's also in charge of the Self-Defense Army Surveillance Squad, a.k.a. JSDA Watch. He's supposed to be keeping an eye on the military. What's he stuck his nose into this for? He's a man who got to where he is in public security today by being utterly single-minded. He's edited in for Section 9 ever since we were founded. It's hardly surprising that he'd come here to butt in. But what has me more concerned is that as the spy sent in by the JSDA watch 20 years ago, he was the man responsible for uncovering the attempted Far North Rebellion. He caught Michiba? Everyone who works in public security knows about it. So, the great spy's been pursuing the terrorists who were after the H-88 memorandum, huh? There are just too many points that link it to this incident. Something tells me that this isn't over yet. Major will be arriving at Better Tatar Bay in five minutes. Should we land this plane at the Atorofu Support Police's heliport? No, land at the civilian airfield we're using as a makeshift command post and touch coma hangar. I want to check over everything inside. Roger. Chief. At the moment, Beru Taru Bay is being pegged by widespread acts of terrorism, but security for the ceremony and the guests will be assigned jointly. Both the 5th Army's 27th Division, which has a garrison here, and the Atorafu Support Police will be in charge of this. Our mission is to prevent the assassination of former Cabinet Minister Hiramu. Have there been any demands from the terrorists after that, other than the death threat? No. But it was a long time ago when Hiramu pushed for developing the Far North, back when he was Land Development Minister. Why would anybody threaten to kill him now? It doesn't make sense. Publicly, Hiruma's retired from the party, but he's a big wheel who still has enough pull to meddle in political policy. He's got lots of enemies. It's not surprising that some of them would try to wipe him out and make it look like it had something to do with the Far North. No, there's probably some significance to carrying out the assassination in Beiru Tarobe, and especially at the handover commemoration ceremony. For one thing, the people of the Far North never recognize the theft of the full authority over their own reconstruction as a handover. Even a snot-nosed kid knows that the ceremony is nothing but a performance meant to entertain the political bigwigs who are still suppressing their rights. And that includes Hiroma. At any rate, your top priority is to root out any and all terrorists prior to Hiroma's arrival. You are here to do whatever it takes to prevent his assassination. Understood? They say this better town will be place we're going to is an old-style cyberbrain city. I bet we can find an AI from an early think tank model used in World War III for dirt cheap. 
Let's get one as a souvenir! Yeah, we promised to get something for the others back at the hangar! I can already tell you what's gonna happen if we run off on our own and come back with a brain case that's still online, the Major's gonna go get mad at us! The last time she got mad because we brought something back without asking! Well, after all, stealing is wrong! And besides, we're basically government equipment! Ooh, ooh, I overheard something a while ago! Uh-huh! What, what? Everyone in Section 9 is talking about us! They're going on about how we've developed too much! What's bad about that? They're scared of the idea that we AIs have become too much like humans! But Mr. Bato's on our side, isn't he? I hate to say it, but Mr. Bato does whatever the Major orders him to! What do you think we should do? It's very simple! From now on, we need to pay close attention to our actions, but we should also avoid any unnecessary talking in front of humans. In that case, I have a suggestion! From now on, whenever we talk, why don't we just use ultra-high frequencies? Humans can't hear them! I agree! I agree! I agree! Without further ado... I can hear something! Some people are talking! What's this? Shisamu has come again? What will it be this time? Shibashikuru or Kararaku? And Uko Charanke is out of the question? Huh? What's Uko Charanke mean? I show the crow is listed as the meaning of Shibashikuru. And Kararaku is the sound a crow makes. What's it going to be this time? The crow or the crow's call? What's, What's that, that mean? Allow me to introduce someone. This is Brigadier General Kusmoto. He's the commander of the 5th Army's 27th Division, which will be overseeing security at the ceremony in conjunction with the Etorofu Support Police. Since a military parade is planned as part of the event, the General is going to be in charge of your group as well. How long has it been, Major Kusanagi? Not since Nemuro, I suppose. I don't believe we've met before. Division Staff Officer Kusumoto. You know each other? We both served in the same operation to take back the far north, which had been occupied. The Major and her team drew the enemy away from our forces in Nemero. You might say that thanks to their efforts, we were able to achieve our victory there. As I recall, General Michiba was your commanding officer, wasn't he? What are you implying? Nothing. The top brass did that all on their own. My division had nothing to do with it. I'm aware of that. Because of what he did, everyone in the division, right down to the enlisted soldiers, came under the suspicion of rebellion, and we were disbanded. We were bounced from post to post all throughout Honshu. We took part in the operation with your group after we reformed in the far north. I apologize if I've touched a nerve. Our duty is to keep the ceremony safe. We will spare no effort to assist you. I have just one word of warning for you and your men, Major. We're no longer attached to the same organization. 
I expect you to refrain from making unauthorized contact with any military personnel. You're also prohibited from entering military facilities. If you can't give me your word that you'll abide by this, I won't be able to guarantee your safety. You have my word. In any event, we're both in positions where our duty is to protect the state. I'll send you all the information we have on the terrorists we captured. I couldn't help but notice that you've brought think tanks along with you. I'll see that you get clearance to use our training dome. Please feel free to use it if you like. I'll have one of my men give you the location later. If you have any questions about something that turns up in the course of your investigation, contact us on our frequency. My men will see to it. Any questions? None. I wish you good luck. What's his problem? Not the nicest guy in the world, is he? The rumors are right. Bring up the fact that he served under General Michiba and the guy completely loses it. Nevertheless, you mustn't forget that if it weren't for him, we wouldn't have been able to recapture the Far North. But he said that he would let us use their training dome, so the fellow can't be all bad. If he's putting himself at our disposal, it would only be polite for us to take him up on it. How long have you guys been listening in? The touch coma's right. Don't focus on anything else. For now, just concentrate on your own mission. Now that's more like it. Okay then, let's get right to it and go on patrol in Better Tower Bay. You just want to gain experience points is more like it. All right, fine. It's obvious that standing around here won't get anything done. Everyone grab a touch coma. We're heading out. We're going into Better Tower Bay. <laughs>